Are two Sikh temples in the Milwaukee area. One is still an active crime scene. The other one in Brookfield is a place of refuge for those who can't pray in their own house of worship. Fox's Jenna Sachs has more. Hundreds of people pour into the Sikh temple in Brookfield to honor six innocent lives lost at the Oak Creek Temple Sunday morning. Oh. Hymns sung in Punjabi are translated into English for the many visitors who are asked to remove their shoes and cover their heads with scarves. We're a strong community. We're, we're loving to everyone. Even for that, for that man that did those horrible things, you know, it's, uh, we love and forgive. Members of this Sikh temple say everyone within their small community knows at least one of the victims. It's like a grandpa or a, or a father or somebody who got shot. It's for all of us. One man proudly tells us he's the brother of a victim who tried to stop the shooter. Elder brother of Sudan Singh Talika, who died as a martyr yesterday at Oak Creek. Uh, temple. They're also praying for the victims in critical condition at Freighter Hospital. One of them, Police Lieutenant Brian Murphy, plus two other men from the Sikh community. One of them, 50 year old Santok Singh. We believe he was injured with a single uh, gunshot wound that penetrated his stomach diaphragm and chest. But this night isn't all about prayer. It's also about raising awareness about their nonviolent religion and the prejudice Sikhs often endure. We always feared this since 9-11. Someday this thing might happen. It did happen at the smaller level, but not at this level. The members of the congregation also handed out booklets to explain their traditions. They hope that by educating people about their faith, they won't have to face violence again.